My name is Artemis, and after my recent visit to Dutchland and of course Amsterdam, I was faced with one immutable fact that this country could not escape from. We definitely spit out some of the most obnoxious, feckless, dick-headed tourists that you are ever likely to see. And despite the fact that we spent our entire history colonising and invading other countries, we sure are intolerant of anyone who's even a slightly bit different. And I thought that's right for taking the piss out of and pointing out, so guess what we're doing this week? That's right, exactly that that I just said. So, let's get into how much of a dickhead the British people can be when they go anywhere that isn't their country. Je m'appelle. Je m'appelle. Right? Les baguette pour lunch. Hello, where's the toilet, please? I, I said, where's the toilet? Where is the toilet? Come on, meet me halfway, you prick. England, England. I got no personality other than I support England. Lads, 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 fucking lads. Let's go get drunk and fuck. Let's just be heteros. What, darling? Got that fit fucking British accent, all suave like James fucking Bond. Do you want to suck on this long, greasy dick of mine? Yeah, that's right, ladies. I have a set of testicles, and you're all going to fucking look at him. Yo, yo, yo. In here. Nah. And welcome to the Great British Buddha Championships, where we observe middle-aged men who think that their perfectly spherical bellies are just the absolute top tip top thing that we all want to see in the summer. And here we have Pete, he works at a garage up in Birmingham, and wow, that is a perfect circle of a belly. We'll look to the judges' scores, and they are repulsed! He is a winner! I suppose you uh, know where nearest McDonald's is, do you? Don't worry, that fucking forum, mutt. I did not fly all the way around the fucking world to not be able to eat the same shit I eat at home. Mate, I don't give a fuck about your local delicacies. Do you have a Weatherspoons? Oh God, you drive on the wrong side of the fucking road over here. They have different language and cultures. Oh God, no, that's just wrong. That's just completely against my worldview. I mean, I, I know that I went to another country, but I didn't expect things to actually be different. Oh, he did very well. You tried so hard with your English, didn't you? Well done, pat on the head, mate, pat on the head. Oh, brilliant. Look at that, British pub showing British football. Oh, British shop selling British things. We can go and get some British tea and some British biscuits and some British racism, because I'm sure they've got bad in stock. Oh, lovely. And we've got British TV channels as well. Excellent. It's like we never needed to leave our country at all. Now, I know where we're going, all right? I've been here at least once before, all right? I'm a fucking expert. I don't need a sat-nav. Let's just go down this creepy dark alley that's completely unlit and we'll be fucking fine. Is that a knife? Oh my god. Somebody load up the Instagram, okay? Look at this church. It, oh god. This is what I like, is discovering these new things. Like, you know, ignore the tourists and the tourist attractions that have been built up and the fact that this is historical, so everyone has known about it for centuries. I really do feel like we have discovered something here for the first time. Oh my god, look, look at all the fucking different shit they got. Oh god, yeah, it's not like that in England, mate. It's not like that in England. Yeah, it's better off there. God, yeah, look, bike paths, dedicated bike paths so that you don't have cyclists on the road and they can actually not use cars because the country is not built around a car-centric monopoly. <laughs> well, we don't have that in England, my friend. No, no, we're all a slave to the fucking fuel prices. Much better, much better. No, no, I know we're going in a rough area, lads, all right? But I've got to sort it. Passports, an exorbitant amount of fucking cash, all in a bum bag, all right? I might look like a twat, but at least I can fucking demonstrate that I'll carry my shit like one too. Oh my god, look at all the things at the supermarket, that's exactly the same. Oh look, look at their fucking weird post boxes. Gotta show that to the folks back home. Look at their weird fucking post boxes. Excuse me, do you know where we can get an I Love Paris t-shirt? And maybe one of those berets as well? And also, um, do you have any like flashing neon signs that say, I am a stupid tourist, please fucking mug me? No, souvenir shop is fucking easy, right? You go into Paris, you bring back an Eiffel Tower and a fucking baguette. You go into Spain, you bring back a straw donkey. You go into America, then 
I don't know, could, could you bring back a shit healthcare system, expensive insulin on a school shooting? Look at them, I think they fucking own the place. And just the fact that they do, doesn't mean they get to act like it. Oh yeah, that's right, I bet they fucking love seeing us lot here. Lifeblood of their economy, alright? Yeah, that's what we are. Yeah, more money now that we did that Brexit thing as well. What a fantastic idea that was to boost our fucking reputation on the world stage, yeah? This is fucking it, lads. No drinking age, you can get slashed, you can go and get some fucking free weed, and we are totally gonna take advantage of that system because our lives are fucking hollow, and the only way we can feel joy is with some sort of chemical influence. Whee! Oh, watch it, watch it, foreign police. Yeah, instantly corrupts. They will bugger you because apparently it's the wild fucking west out here in, you know, Calais. No, no, it's fine. It's fine. It says taxi on the side. I don't care if it's a rusted out, falling down piece of crap car. Well, I'm sure we can get in and he won't take us all around the houses and maybe mug us. Let's go. What the fuck you got against the UK, apart from our extended history of being the villains of the fucking world? Oh, that. All right, okay. Ugh. Look at all these fucking locals. I mean, I get that it's the culture, but goddamn cheese-eating surrender monkeys. Do they really have to all be here in France? It's just... Oh, it would be so much better if it weren't for all the bloody foreigners. Wait, no, wait, we're the foreigners. Shit. Okay, so I start the video by saying that this is what happens when they go abroad, but living in a seaside town, I can also attest to the fact that they're also like this any time they travel outside of their fucking postcode, so... Yeah, we're not even escaping our own dickheadedness at the end of the day, as I'm sure we are about to demonstrate. Alright then, Chucks. That's a nice little seaside town you've got here. And it's about to be my fucking possession for the next six weeks, alright? No, 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 it's a tourist town, alright? We can park wherever the fuck we want, okay? We pay their wages, okay? What the fuck do you want? You can put that ticket back in your pocket, you cunt. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Nine o'clock in the bastard morning, let's crack open a Carlsberg. No, no, I'm looking, I can't see a bin anywhere apart from all of those bins that I can't be bothered to walk to. Fuck it, we're on the beach, baby shit and nappies, they're, they're, they're natural, just, just leave it. People get paid to sweep this beach, just fucking leave it. Hey, the fucking sun's coming up, we need to get to the beach, get a good spot. I guess when you use disposable barbecue trays and you burn sausages to a blackened crisp and you also siphon some petrol from the car to ensure you get a good heat. That shit really does set fire to absolutely fucking everything, but... Oh well. Holiday memories, huh? Fucking hell. I thought we wanted to go to the beach, but there's no fucking parking. Ah fuck, the road will do. The road will fucking do. Wow. That is just beautiful. Look at that stunning rock formation. Nature is just awe-inspiring. Now watch me climb it and do a backflip off the top of it, okay? Call 999, we're gonna need that air ambulance. <laughs> Remember, we're on holiday, we don't have to be fucking nice to shop workers, or waiting staff, or basically fucking anyone. Where the fuck are we? Excuse me. Uh, I'm trying to get to um, the beach. Where the absolute fuck is it? Okay, so I go up there. Then I just take a left and we're there, right? Okay, cool, thanks for the directions. I don't fucking care that you're short-staffed. I'm down on my holly bobs and I expect five-star fucking service from this Premier Inn, all right? Everything's Premier but the fucking price. All these goddamn foreigners in our country. What a disgrace. Wait, what? Would you... They're just locals that have had a tan? Still, though. Hey, do you live here, mate? Can you tell me all about the fucking history of your shitty town? Oh, look at all these seagulls, aren't they sweet? F throw them a chip, go on, that's totally good. Ignore the signs, just throw them a chip. Fuck, 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 fuck! Nah, it's alright, I got a nice tan. I don't care if I can't fucking move because it hurts. I look fucking banging. I don't care if it's a gated community, alright? I bet they've got free parking. Just follow, just follow him and we'll park up on his driveway. What's he gonna do about it? Oh, it's nice down here. It's real nice. Fucking rushing past you, bastard. Having a wee look. Ah, oh, soak it in, lads. 
Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed yet another pot shot I was taking at this nation in which I am unfortunately trapped. It was very cathartic to make because going abroad and seeing slash hearing British people makes you want to cringe yourself inside out. I can definitely say that's a fact. But yes, Thank you for watching, hopefully you did enjoy it. Here we have some shameless plugs for first merchandise and then it will be shortly followed by Patreon. And if you would like to support the channel and help us keep going and help us, you know, try and escape this fucking country, maybe check them out because it all goes to a good cause of, well, fleeing this sinking ship before it descends into the quagmire of shit that the water companies have turned our oceans into. <sighs> But yes, thank you for watching, thank you for enjoying, um, and remember, I'm just going to steal this quote because I like it, if you're thinking about subscribing, just remember that not only is subscribing just flat out not worth it, it's also not optional. Click the button or else. Bye!